this is a, an indie comic that he put out with Eclipse in 1985. Um, and uh, he really got to showcase, you know, his uh, his uh, breadth and depth. So um, let's go through it here and see, um, you know, first off, you know, he's got this real kind of classic, you know, Conan style. It looks just like Bernie Wrightson, very similar to Mike Plug, who I talked about last time. Um, you know, kind of like a fluidity, but, um, you know, here we got some, you know, very nice lights and darks. Um, it, it doesn't um, list a colorist here, so I'm not sure, you know, what happened here with the colors. Um, you know, this does look like it was uh, color separated, you know, so um, they could be. Yeah, the originals stock. were black and white pencils. It was all printed yeah. as black and white print pencils, like I think in, in Eerie and Creepy. Um, when I bought these uh, two issues, I was thoroughly disappointed because they were colored. <laughs> I would prefer just to see these super awesome pencils. Yeah, I mean, uh, this, there's actually a little date here that this was actually drawn in 1970. So this is probably his very early audition work. Yeah. Um, you know, trying, you know, and that, that's right around the time that Barry Winter Smith comes out with Conan, you know, and uh, sets that world on fire. Um, I'm noticing if you're seeing this too, uh, looks like some use of charcoal, right, to try to bring some of these other values in. 